<laughs> What's up funky people? I'm Iteration Funk and today we're back in Ending Maniga 2. So I hooked up an anvil because I wanted to try out something that was mentioned in my discord channel so you can actually name the person that's in the auto heavy saver so right now it's me but I'm sure we could torture a patron or something that would be pretty neat and I also set up a precision sawmill and as you can see I tore down the blast furnace because we can make steel blend with our mechanism, ma mechanism machines we just need enriched iron so uh, we could you know reuse the stuff that made up the blast furnace to make more mechanism casings so I think that's a that's a way better idea than actually using it to make steel. I think mechanism will do that just as well. And I just made this area a little bit nicer so it actually looks like it has a home. It's still not a proper building or anything but yeah, at least something. And I also made gear costs here so I don't need a metal press just yet either I think. And I don't know what we would use the metal press for even. Because we can make like steel rods and stuff. We can also make with the small plate presser from uh, advanced rocketry. So the way you set that up, I actually made one. I wanted to try it out. Is we have a guy up here. Then we need a piece of obsidian. Oh. <laughs> Not there. Over here. And then we do a lever or a button. And what should we press? Let's press a sheet metal block here. We can grab this and then just give it a redstone signal. And the button pops off, so I think. Maybe a lever would work. Would that fall off too when it retracts? Probably need to put this at the top or something. Zoink. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Zoink. Oh, the lever didn't. Okay, I see. I see what's happening here. But yeah, so that's an easier way to get rods. And today I kind of want to make the cloche. And for that we need the heavy engineering blocks. We also need some uh, forestry machines. But the heavy engineering blocks take steel scaffolding. So we could use this. But I also saw this gate quest. If we do a iron casing from actual additions we get heavy engineering blocks. So I think we'll go that route. In any case... To make a cloche, we need, let's see, we need these two casings and they are both made in the carpenter. So we need a carpenter and I think this guy is made in the carpenter as well, but we need seed oil, so I need a squeezer. Now first of all I would like to automate processing my, uh, you know, metals before doing a cloche. So I think we're just going to like set up a hopper or something and make that run all the time. Just going to grab a chest and a hopper. We're going to put that on this guy. And let's jump up here. I really want the cloche going so I can get some more safer wiring. This is a bit... Oh, yeah. Wow. That kickback. That's insane. So we're going to put you on top. And we're going to grab some ores we would like. For now we'll just grab like uh, this stuff maybe. So we want this processed. That's, that's working. Because this is already on input. And you are not supposed to go to the infusing factory. Maybe I'll remove the sawmill for now. We can just move this guy one. Just gonna give him power again. 
Oh, and it's getting dark. I'm just gonna go on the outside so I don't get burned. I have electrocuted myself so many times today while setting this episode up. Okay. You can auto eject items and output them there. So we're going to move our iron furnace. There's one step here. I can do a mechanism. Uh, what is it called? The, where is it? The energized smelter we could do. But for now we're just going to do the iron furnace here. And yes, I need some more hoppers. I think I can't configure this. I need to pull from the bottom with a hopper. And I think that's just iron plates, right? I haven't found that many hoppers, so we will need to grab one more here. And a chest. Perfect. And another chest just for the output stuff. Let's do this guy. So, let's see here. Kinda don't want to jump in between these blocks. Can I do this without harming myself? Like, when you have them, the cables going all in one direction, it's kind of dangerous. Let's just maybe... Oh. Yeah, like that. Super dangerous. Mm. Hmm. Can I do... Oh shit. Crap. Oh, and I think that connector burned. Whatever. Let's just fix that later. For now, let's just do that. And that's working. Perfect. So that's kind of automated. So we will get our ore doubling and our ingots here. And that's great. I went on a mining trip to the nether and these ores seem pretty good. We get four instead of two. So I might mine more in the nether in the future. But yeah, we're totally doing a cloche. So first of all, got some fresh water. I actually hooked up the crafting thing from cooking for blockheads here near our sink so I can grab fresh water. It's just easier to craft with them buckets. So we need this to make carpenter. We just need one of our... We need all of those, I think. But we need some treated wood too. Row row. Fight the power. One carpenter. I should probably place a cake somewhere so I can eat some of that. Nom. Delicious. The cake is not a lie. That's a carpenter. We also need the squeezer. So two thing gear. I'm just going to go over to our smeltery here. Put that in. And then we need our gear costs. And that's, wow, that's really quick smelting tin. What else? It's just glass, right? Yeah, and four treated. So four, two, squeezer. And this will, of course, require wiring. So I think maybe we'll set them up here. Because I don't want any more machines over there right now. It's just too dangerous. Carpenter. Squeezer. And hook them up with power without electrocuting ourselves. There we go. Two of them. So both have power. Mm, we need some seeds for for you. I would also like a pipette from forestry to pipe stuff out easily when it's not a full bucket. So wool and paints. I should have paints still from my dank null I made. And do I have wool? Yeah, so much wool. 
what else did I need? Seeds, right? We're going to grab these worthless chili pepper seeds that I don't really care for. And end their lives. Seeds are totally sentient beings. So yeah, that's going to take a while. I wish I had a magnet, but magnet because I don't really dare. Oh, maybe I do. Ooh, hoo, hoo. close one. Don't look at me like that. You're coming along nicely. Now, maybe let's start with the hardened casing since we can grab the water for that. Hmm. Can we pump that in? I mean, I have ducts. Maybe I'll break it later if it's too full. And yeah, I moved all of my tools to my extended inventory from Cyclic. And you can change the keybind for that. Because my keybind for this mod isn't really working. So I think it's better just having tools easily accessible with a keybind. <laughs> and I only grabbed one duct, what the hell? No, not good enough. We need to. One, two. And you need like 5k. But I'm, I'm going to do two hardened. So, yeah, that's perfect. And then diamonds, I think. So, eight diamonds. Eight. Good. They go in the corners. And yeah. That, okay, that's going to drain out all of the water. That's perfect. And we can take that. <laughs> that's such a neat feature that you can just click the bar here and pipe it out. And what else? Man, that's a long recipe. Uh, we can get rid of that now. Put that in and then we need wood to make the other casing. Oh, this is the squeezer. So we do this. We'll get one of those now. Uh, the fermionic is four gold gears. So how is gold coming along? I don't want to smelt down the ores really. Oh yeah, that's copper is being done at the moment. Uh, I mean, I have six. Guess I'll go and use some of this, even though it's really inefficient. Really, really inefficient. So, maybe 18? Hope that's enough. Then 6. My math is probably off. Let's hope that does 4. Yeah, it's gonna. I need 16 for 4. That might be a bit too much. Maybe something like this. Let's see. One block three. Yeah, that's a bit extra. Last set. Yep, yep, that's all of it. Now to check out the glass situation. Yeah, can make three. And grab our impregnated casing. Cool. Maybe eat some. Cake is good for us. And yeah. So for now, maybe we'll just tear down this guy. And set up the fermionic instead. No permanent setups here. So yeah, we need to focus on getting our actual additions casing. That's like what? I think we need... We need four. So one craft, that's five of these babies and two redstone and then some liqui liquefied glass in this guy. So that goes up here. Then that redstone. And we'll wait for that to melt down and 
that sleep in dark. That's our four electron tubes. I wonder if there's a forestry gate. Yeah. So I've made a couple of these. Oh, I miss these all the time, man. So let's do this. I'm going to try to get as many as possible. Also made, made the redstone engineering block. And this apparently. We get a part chest. Mm, kind of bad. Pulled pork. Oh yeah. I like that. TNT. Uh, more TNT. Kind of don't care for that. Maybe we can use it for something. Now I only have two iron sheet metal. Let's do the expensive plates maybe just so we can get it real quick. Four plates. And yeah, that's not the recipe. This is the recipe. A four four. And yeah, one of those. Cool. Come back here. And yeah, I should probably... Do I need another impregnated casing? Oh, and I've totally voided out the stuff from this, yeah? Yeah. Let's just pick them up. Okay. There we go, it detected that. And let's pick up the squeezer. Two rewards. Colored block crafter. And a heavy plated shield. The shield might come in handy. I don't know if I care for using flat colored blocks. They are they aren't that good looking in my opinion. Now did I choose something here? Let's see. Oh and yeah, I totally made a scanner. That I don't think I can use yet because there's no energy for it. Let's uh, select the heavy engineering blocks. Excellent. Oh, poutine. Isn't that from Canada? And that's like cheese and fries. Dairy, grain, vegetable. Yeah, that kind of checks out. Grain though. What's the grain? I don't know. Let's eat it. We have some food now. So much food. Is it the... Uh, is it the guy up here? The gas burning that's toggling on and off? Maybe I should give him... Wait, you can't give him muffler? How do we do this? Let them all depend on... I mean... Eh. Let it run, I guess. Okay, back to business. We need the uh, cloche. So I totally need these. We need four treated. Let's do make... Let's do... Two cloches. And we need... Oh, I get to use our... LV wire connectors that we weren't going to use anyways. And it's time to put the carpenter back here. Yeah, that's the fermionic. So, like this, then LV. And we just need a ejector upgrade. So, you make this with either dense tin plates or tin plates. So you save a bit of a few pistons if you do it this way, but we don't have a pressurizer yet. I think we can make it because it's just some fair boron, some tough alloy and yeah, we could make it and I think that would come in handy, but I don't think we have time for that this episode. Anyways, tin plates. We should have something left, right? No, we have zero tin. Let's make one ejector or two ejector, yeah. We need eight. Harvest. Good. So I'll be back when I have made all those plates and we can take a look at the closures.
That's gonna be pretty neat. Yeah, that's eight. So do I have pistons left? Yep. And I have found most of these, which is great. I don't have to craft them. So ejector upgrades. Good. And the reason I wanted the you know the cloche early is because I want to automate this gas burning generator and to be able to make that I need a lot of automated crops to go through the crusher. And we're going to do wheat, I think. And we're also going to do industrial hemp so we can make this safer. And I can actually lay out it a bit better. Hmm. We need more glass. Let's guess maybe eight will do. I guess nine now. Good. There we go. Put that in. One and a two. Easy as pie. So let's see. Kind of want to complete things here to keep the quest rewards going. Hey, everyone likes quest rewards. And yeah, I guess it counted that even though it wasn't. We didn't get it recently. I can just pick you up then. Cool, two rewards again. Can open them factory blocks, good, because I've already started playing with those here. Oh, conversion kits. So whenever we get into Thermal Foundation, we will have three conversion kits to the second tier, I think. Let's see. Yeah, because the first tier is hardened, so it's the first tier of conversion kit, but it's the second tier of Machines, if you don't count the basic tier. That's cool. Really cool, and sorry for having a messy inventory. I know it's not cool. There we go, for now. But I totally need cables, don't I? Do two of these to MV. We need a dirt block or two. Uh, then we need seeds and hemp seeds so for now let's just do like we need to attach attach inventories to these uh, can i do crates maybe because they do not connect like a chest and they look pretty so pretty that's one i wanted two two excellent so up here, we'll remove the carpenter for now. I think we'll kind of maybe put that here and then we'll pipe this into cloches, maybe something like that. Yeah. And then we need to attach power to them. That was a weird looking glitch. There we go power but oh yeah okay so dirt seeds dirt seeds and water by itself is just a one growth modifier i think the best thing we can make right now is the fertilizer from forestry we're using the bone, bone meal we have and we have a ton of that So that's going to output there. Then we need, I'm just going to put like treated wood beneath it. So it's going to look kind of cool. Hmm. But maybe we'll do the vertical kind. I think the vertical kind looks really good. Would you look at that? So we have some props going here. And before we lay down for the night, I'm just going to grab where are you? Yeah, it's over here. I'm not sure why appetite is over here. It should probably be in here. So 16. I should have some sand. And fertilizer. That's two stacks. That should last a while. So each cloche get a stack. You get a stack. 
you get a stack. So whenever this bar depletes, it's going to consume one fertilizer and go up to... I don't know, maybe it's modified in this pack, we'll see. Okay. Oh, it's a growth modifier of three. But that should really speed them up. Wow, that looks like... Do you guys remember the original cloches from like 110? This was kind of their speed, or this might even be a bit faster. So we get wheat, which will go to making our biofuel. I wonder if seeds work for that too. Yeah, but we get more for wheat. Maybe we'll just export all of it to a... Uh, is there a crushing factory? Yeah, that's awesome. We can make a factory that can do a lot of a lots at a time. Now, hemp is what we need to make tough fabric. And tough fabric we can use to save up our energy. And I think it's time to do that because, yeah, I'm getting hurt all the time here. So, sticks. Some tough fabric we need. I think we need eight or like four per oil craft. So, MV. Uh, four MV. I'm just going, gonna go up here and break most of it and make sure it doesn't end up in lava. Never mind, it ended up in lava anyways. But we have at least. I mean. <laughs> this lava. It's burning all of my stuff. Mm, that could have stayed here. So. I have seven now. I kind of want eight so I can make two crafts. Uh, maybe grab this guy. God damn it. Here we go. And I hope we can use the creosote I have in the jerry can. Uh, which is empty, so we need to go refill that. Perfect. Then I think, uh, yeah, I can't autocomplete because it wants the bucket, but this works. Insulated MV. So this won't hurt us or betray us like the other cable has. Um, so yeah, I guess to just go up, I think I had a relay here too. here there we go oh that's i was gonna say that's totally safe but lava isn't <laughs> i'm such a klutz okay so this is all of the wire connectors i have let's just hook these up i guess i'm gonna take a look in my chest and see if i have any more so uh grab that i guess that was a bit up here again and so insulated super safe stuff and yeah I totally need more connectors if I want this running again die yeah I just remove this mm -mm -mm. no wire connectors do I have more electron plates? I would need to smelt them down into plates. Maybe we'll get by on two insulated. Oh, we kind of don't. And you don't need one. You produce power. Look that up. Okay, so I'll probably be closest to this one at times. And then this guy can be dangerous. So it's not entirely safe, but a lot better. Some cake. Oh, and yeah, this one is kind of more important. Let's just snag this. And 
use this here. Those I shouldn't be close. Then we hook that up to this. Oh, there we go. So it's still doing its thing here. I probably want something faster than this furnace. <laughs> really slow. Grab a stack for it. And before we wrap up, maybe I just start the foam craft thing here. So when you find crystals and go to sleep, I can't remember what it says, but you get some new knowledge. And when you wake up, you have this strange book or whatever, strange dreams. And it will tell you how you make uh, Salis Mundus, which is three different types of these crystals, a bowl, a piece of flint and some redstone. I'm going to make like 15 of that, which we'll need. And a bookshelf. Glad I found some books, because I don't have that much paper. One bookshelf, I just wanted to detect that. Good. And we need, need to put stuff away. So I have a lot. We actually needed one bowl. So I have extras of Ignis, so let's do 15 Ignis, 15 air. And then we have, I guess, Terra. So we need, I think we need three different types, it says that, right? Of different types, yeah. And then we just do this, I think these are reusable. Yeah, cool. Cool stuff. This isn't what I'm used to when it comes to Home, home craft. I'm going to take an extra look there. So, place a bookshelf and then we sprinkle some mandus on it. Pew! Love the new sound effects. So, that's covered. Console command. Good. And that means I think we can claim this reward. Go to Astral and get the Throne. Excellent. So I think what I want to do is, is having the liquid starlight interaction with lava as a sand generator. And then, you know, have a craft to compress that and put it through the sieve so I get some passive resources going. And then I think we can get rolling on some more tricky stuff. But yeah, this works great. Now I could insulate all the things and this should be enough biofuel for a... I mean it's pretty self-sustainable, I just need to hook it up in a loop. That's gonna be neat. Anyway, that's everything for this episode. I think I made a fair amount of progress. We got the garden closures and we have some forestry machines and we also have wires that won't kill us, so that's pretty neat. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you really enjoyed the episode, you can hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with everything that comes out of my channel. And yeah, take care. Stay funky.